Welcome everyone, uh, bienvenue aux les journalistes uh, ivoiriens. Uh, welcome everyone. I think it will be a um, very important game for us. Um, there are 10 games in the qualification. We are in a group with uh, strong opponents. Ivory Coast is for sure the strongest opponent possible, uh, but also Gabon, Kenya, Burundi and ourselves are in competition to qualify, probably with all respect, Seychelles not. Um, after the surprising defeat against uh, Burundi, what was not really calculated, uh, we really need to do all efforts to uh, steal points uh, from African giant Ivory Coast. It won't be easy. Ivory Coast beat Seychelles 9-0 a few days ago, and Ivory Coast is gearing up for a fantastic AFCON uh, in Ivory Coast. Um, they have a team from 23 top-class players, uh, where all players play in uh, top leagues in France, in England, in Spain. Um, they play a regular for their clubs uh, in Germany. Uh, so we will face a very tough opponent, but in the past we have shown against Algeria, Tunisia, Mali and uh, Morocco that we are very competitive and can steal points from them. So um, it won't be easy if we have the right uh, mentality, the right setup and the right uh, approach. I think we can make it very difficult uh, for Cote d'Ivoire. Um, we need to write, uh, we, we need to change a little bit on the strategy compared to uh, the previous matches and we need to find the right mentality in the squad. Um, I think um, the last months after our uh, fantastic AFCON where we were sixth, uh, some people uh, uh, thought that we are now a giant in African football. It was also a little bit influenced by local media and local public. And that's always the danger to overrate yourself and to know and to forget where you come from. We need to go, we need to go back to basic, uh, back for how it started, because we missed naturally a lot of uh, quality players. Uh, since last AFCON, we lost five central midfield players, thinking about Ibrahim Adama, who, Soma Mari, Yusuf Abob, uh, Ibrahim Sona, and even Mohamed Mbai, who we use frequently on that position. Um, and uh, also the missing of Jan Kuba Minte uh, is, is quite difficult. Uh, on the other side, we have still quality players enough and uh, I think they don't need any uh, motivation to play tomorrow against one of the powerhouses of African football. So uh, tomorrow it will be uh, sticking to the tactical discipline and uh, playing with the heart. And I think then we can uh, win points, one or more points against Ivory Coast, but it won't be easy. Tomorrow, I think the difference with uh, Burundi has to be that we have to that we have to score out of the opportunities we got against Burundi. We got two big opportunities last at uh, the first 15 minutes. If we score one of them, we probably win the game. Uh, that has, has to be a big lesson. And uh, we lost against Burundi fully the, the the midfield, so we have to be more aggressive. We have to be playing more as men and not only thinking what we do when we have the ball, but also getting the ball first. Uh, so more aggression, uh, more uh, mentality will be needed to uh, to compete with a strong Ivory Coast. I mean, um, I, I, I think we always calculated a little bit uh, a possible defeat against Ivory Coast, but we never calculated a possible defeat against Burundi. Um, so there is the mistake. Now we have to rectify that defeat. And uh, uh, people forget sometimes that we play eight games in last qualification in eight different stadiums. Uh, we played in Senegal, in Agadir, in Marrakech, in Casablanca, in uh, Suez, in Egypt, and in uh, Yaoundé, Bamako, and uh, uh, Brazzaville. Uh, we never have a home advantage. We never know our own pitch. We can't let the grass grow. We can't uh, water the grass when we want. We can't train on it as much as we want. So there are a lot of negative aspects of not playing at home. And when you play a giant of African football like Ivory Coast, it would be better uh, to play at home as we did with Algeria many years ago. Um, but I can't change that. And this is a negative uh, situation for us, but it's not an excuse not to perform tomorrow. Ivory Coast is a giant. Uh, they have the whole selection playing in top team teams in the in all the leagues, in top leagues in Europe. We will have tomorrow two players who play in the top eight of uh, Europe in the, in the top leagues. Uh, compared to a group of 23 top uh, league players. Okay, some players in Saudi, but still very good. So it will be uh, David against Goliath. Uh, but we also know who won that battle between David and Goliath. So we never know tomorrow uh, if we can repeat that. But playing at home is always an advantage um, compared to playing away from home.